Hey everyone, it's Radley and I am here with your energetic weather report for April 13th through the 18th. Now for the energetic weather report, we are using fairy tarot cards this week. Bottom column, bottom row, if you haven't noticed lately, we are doing the Archangel that you should be working with this week. And that is a mix of the Major Arcana cards from Angel Tarot cards and Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now it just so happened uh, that all four of the cards that came out for your Archangel to work with this week were from Angel Tarot cards. So as I go through the Energetic Weather Report, do kind of keep in mind, are you interested in card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, no right answer, just the one that resonates with you, the one that sort of sings to your heart. Think about that, <clears throat> but let's start with the energetic weather report, shall we? So, for Monday and Tuesday, we are working with, all right, so we're working with Nine of Winter, so this is a little bit challenging energy. This is a card that has a lot of fear and worry and anxiety around it. Easy to understand where that's coming from. Um, so this can also be a card of sleepless nights, maybe you're not resting, uh, or maybe to the other extreme, you're sleeping too much because you don't know what to do or you're feeling a sense of depression. Make sure to ask Archangels Michael and Jophiel to be assistants with you, but also the fairies can help to lighten up your life and ask them to bring joy and little moments of laughter and peace for you. Monday, Tuesday. <clears throat> Wednesday, Thursday, well, this is better. Um, so this is the card that follows Nine of Winter. It's Ten of Winter. So Wednesday, Thursday, some of that sense of fear and anxiety and worry, that starts to slip away. This is a card where challenging times fade away. They come to a conclusion. Perhaps you come to this place where you're starting to realize, you know what, I don't want this anymore. I am done with this. I'm just going to leave it. So whatever has you worried, concerned, whether it is the current global situation that we are all experiencing right now, or whether it is something more personal, because we are all sort of forced, <laughs> forced into a sense of inner seeking and contemplation. So if that is creating a situation where you're wanting to walk away from that, the things that are coming up for you, that can help you do it card for the weekend is the lover's card. So sure, this can represent romantic relationships, but based on the other cards that we have here, I think it's really clear that this is about either love of self or making your, just, your choices and decisions that came from Monday through Thursday with the heart. What does the heart say you should make? What kind of choices should you make? And this is also a really important card from the standpoint of loving oneself, being forgiving, being understanding, being self-caring, and self-compassionate. If you're having problems with that, I did create a website, redleyvalentine.com slash healing, and there's a PDF there, totally free, download it, no problem, that is about how to be more confident and more uh, self-loving with the help of 12 archangels. So remember these four down here, these are the archangels of the week. Let's see. So if card number one was the one that resonated for you, it is the dreamer, which is Archangel Metatron. Now this really does make sense with this reading, Archangel Metatron, because the archangel is associated with very sensitive people. Um, and all of us, I think, are a lot more sensitive right now than we normally are because we have been forced into a sort of inner retreat. And so that is making our emotions more to the surface and we're feeling more sensitive to the things that go on around us. Archangel Metatron can really help you with that. Next, we have Archangel Michael and the wheel. Archangel Michael, he who is like God, so again, this does fit in with these cards that we saw for the week. Archangel Michael is the Archangel of safety and of protection. He can help by using his sword of light to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, above and below, to sever our energetic connections, to fear, to anxiety, to worry, to anything that is holding us back and making us feel outside of our, our divine, peaceful self. Archangel Michael, card number two. Card number three, aha, Archangel Raguel. 
Raguel, the friend of God. Archangel Raguel helps us. He comes in a pale blue light color. He helps us by bringing friends into our life. So he can either help bring friends into your life that you already have or new friends. Uh, we, a lot of people I think are making friends online. They're joining groups. They're joining communities online in order to uh, have a sense of community that is missing for a lot of us right now. Raguel can really help you with that and help you find those peeps at this time. Finally, we have Archangel Zadkiel, the righteousness of God. Zadkiel is great for self-forgiveness. So again, along with this theme, especially that lover's card here, but also the Ten of Winter, a sense of forgiveness of self and others. He's also, I call him the Ginkgo Biloba of the Archangel Realm. He can help us to remember things. So perhaps you might want to ask Archangel Zadkiel to assist you to remember whatever it is that you're forgetting about your past or your present uh, that would be useful to you at this moment and time uh, to be of a healing nature um, and to also be something that is an epiphany perhaps for you about what would be great in your life right now. So again, if you haven't checked it out, do check out RileyValentine.com slash healing. It's totally free. There are no strings attached. It's just meant, there to, meant to be there to help you guys. All right, that's it. That's your energetic weather report for April 13th through the 18th. See you next week.